Topping news tonight. New developments coming in on the Grand Bahama International and Domestic Airport. Deputy Prime Minister, the Honorable I. Chester Cooper, standing firm that Grand Bahama has not been left behind. The Freeport Airport Development Company Limited Board was selected in August of this year and have been making strides to make both structures renovated immediately. Our Aja Quant joins us now live with the latest in this development. Well, Simone, it is the move that many Grand Bahamians have been waiting to hear. The Grand Bahama International Airport is not just at the forefront of the government's mind, but that progress is being made. According to Deputy Prime Minister, the Honorable I. Chester Cooper, the Freeport Airport Development Company is now down to two bidders for the International Airport, and that work is being done on the domestic terminal. In 2019, the doors of both airports were closed following the massive destruction by Hurricane Dorian. Now, three years later, DPM Cooper says the airport is finally receiving the attention it so desperately needed. We have two uh, bidders that we have narrowed the list down to. We're going to begin active uh, deliberations and negotiations with them. Uh, today's meeting, board meeting, is going to kickstart that uh, process into a very serious gear. Uh, we've been waiting for this moment. It's good to know that that's going to happen. DPM Cooper adding that they have invested in the redevelopment of both airports, especially with more airlift coming to the island. On October 5th, the FADC released a statement advising the public that the board selected a firm of Bahamian contractors to repair the domestic airport, and according to DPM, that work has begun. Uh, we brought in some modular offices. Uh, we've put in new lights on the runways, new generators, new elevators for the towers. Uh, we spent a lot of money in the interim period because we know to build an airport takes two years. In the meantime, though, we're getting a lot of traffic coming into Grand Bahama. We've been promoting the island of Grand Bahama. We have uh, Bahamas Air from Raleigh. We have American from Charlotte. We have more flights coming from Fort Lauderdale by American as well as uh, Bahamas Air. And moving forward, the minister responsible for tourism investments and aviation says they are working to bring tourists to the island. He encourages residents to assist in the development of the Bahamian product as he and his team continue working on future plans for Grand Bahama. We want heads and beds because when we get heads and beds, uh, there's food and, uh, and beverage and entertainment and opportunities for entrepreneurs, uh, jobs, vendor opportunities in all of the markets across uh, Grand Bahama. So our mission really is to get the people here. And we're encouraging entrepreneurs to create more tours, help us to develop the product even more, because we can get the people here. We can't make them get off the ship, so we're going to have to demonstrate the appealing products and services we have. Now, Simone, there is no definitive date as to when the airports will be completed. However, GPM Cooper says that they are focusing on building the economy, generating activity, and ensuring the success of the island's tourism market. Live here at the Grand Bahama International Airport, reporting for the Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition, I'm Azure Quant.